are some of the most underrated weight loss tips that I wish I would have known when I first started my weight loss journey. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stasia and I just totally scratched my face and now I'm red, but what are you gonna do? At any rate, welcome to my channel. I have recently lost 25 pounds in less than three months and there are so many things that I wish I would have known when I first started my plant-based weight loss journey. I have been struggling with my weight for years, up, down, staying the same, and it's really, really frustrating to me now that the weight is actually starting to come off that if I had only known certain things, the weight would have been able to come off a lot, lot sooner. Coming into a whole food plant-based diet, there were just so many things that I was confused about, so many things that I took in a literal way, I guess you could say. I think it was also a little bit of wanting to believe that health and weight loss is a one-size-fits-all, so whatever was happening for Mary Sue over here or Johnny over there, you know, that if I did the exact same thing, that I would have the exact same results. So needless to say, there was a lot of trial and error, but I'm happy to say now that I'm finally connecting the dots as far as what's been working for me and I'm running with it. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of those underrated weight loss tips that I feel that you should know, just like how I wished I would have known. So before we jump into today's video though, I do wanna mention in case it's your first time landing on one of my videos, that all of my weight loss recipe eBooks are on sale right now at 65% off. I'm running a little bit of a weekend sale here. So if you're in need of some more oil-free, whole food plant-based recipes, maybe you're just starting out on your plant-based weight loss journey as well, then be sure to check out those books. These are the recipes that I have been eating to get the 25 pounds off so I can assure you that they work. So if you're interested in checking them out, I will post that in my description box below. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about that I wish I would have known is that you don't have to eat less in order Order to lose weight. Now that is a slippery slope type of statement so let me clarify exactly what I mean. In certain ways of eating of course you have to eat less to create that calorie deficit but when you're following an oil-free whole food plant-based diet it is the one lifestyle that you can eat in a way that you're still eating a lot of volume you're still able to feel full and be in a calorie deficit. But there are some limitations within that. So this is the part that was really confusing to me when I first started out, because I just kind of believe that while I'm eating healthy, like a lot healthier than what I was eating, so the weight is obviously going to come off. I think that's a really, really big misconception is that we equate eating healthy to automatic pass on weight loss. And unfortunately, I had to learn the very hard way that that is just simply not true. So when it comes to a lot of these plant-based foods, there are definitely some that are more weight loss friendly than others. In other words, there are some that are more low calorie density versus the high calorie density plant-based foods. So as a lot of you who follow me already know, this was one of my missteps that happened along my weight loss journey. I really didn't think that those more calorically dense plant-based foods like avocados, nuts, seeds, olives, nut butters, I really didn't think that they made that big of a difference to my weight loss, especially when you think, oh, I'm just eating it, you know, just for breakfast or, you know, just for a quick snack or something. You don't really think of it like it's that much that you're eating. But the biggest point that I missed in that is that when you're doing something every single day or close to every single day, then it's the overall amount that you're eating it that really adds up. So the same can be said for, you know, the the consistency of when you're really watching what you're eating and you're doing a fantastic job eating those lower calorie dense foods, the weight is gonna come off when you're consistent with that. If you're consistently eating those higher calorie dense foods, then the weight is simply not going to budge. So that personally was one of my biggest mistakes, so I just wanna make that clear so that maybe it doesn't have to be one of yours. But in general, by following an oil-free whole food plant-based diet, we can eat quite a bit of food while we are losing weight because a lot of foods like potatoes, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, even rice, you know, you can eat these foods in quite large amounts, especially when you pair them with a huge side of those non-starchy vegetables or a huge non-starchy vegetable soup. It's like 100 calories per pound for non-starchy vegetables. That's a lot of food, you know, so we can fill our stomachs and walk away from the table feeling pretty satiated, feeling pretty darn good and still lose weight. So before really understanding just how calorie density works, 
I really believed that you had to eat less in order to lose weight. And I mean, that's what diet culture has taught us over all these years. So it's really kind of hard to just get that out of our brains because I think it's pretty much ingrained in most of us that that's the way to lose weight. So the beauty of this way of eating a oil-free whole food plant-based diet, that is, that it's simply not true. You can eat quite a bit of food and still keep yourself in a healthy calorie deficit and lose weight. Okay, another underrated weight loss tip that I can share with you is having to finish everything on our plate. Now, if you're anywhere around my age, I'm 41, <laughs> then you probably grew up with parents that were telling you that you can't get up from the table until that plate is finished. So instead of teaching us, you can get up from the table once you're full, which would have been an excellent foundation to set us up to pay attention to our fullness and hunger cues, but unfortunately it didn't go that way. It was, you don't get up from the table until that plate is empty. So if you've been brought up that way like me, then maybe it's just something ingrained in you that you know you just don't leave anything on your plate. But this can be a slippery slope as far as weight loss goes, because essentially what it's doing is it's turning off those fullness and hunger cues, and instead you're just focused on whatever amount you served yourself, you know, and not really listening to your body. And here's the thing, when you have a little bit left on your plate, let's say, you know, some type of sauce or dressing, for example, or one of the more higher calorie dense foods, you know, that could be a difference of an extra 50 calories or 100 calories that you're consuming just because. So if we do that three times a day or four times a day, then that's an excess of an extra three to 400 calories in that day that you really didn't even need to consume because you didn't eat it because you were hungry. You maybe didn't even eat it because you wanted it. You just kind of did it out of a habitual way of eating that we've learned for many years ago. This was something that I started to become a lot more aware that I was actually doing and, you know, just not getting up from the table until every last bit was done on my plate. And now I really don't do that. Now I'm just honing in on, am I actually hungry? Do I really need this extra bite? If not, I'll either save it for later or, you know, just get rid of it. And I know that that might sound wasteful and I think that that's where the old school was kind of coming from is that, you know, you don't waste food. And while I totally appreciate that, I do believe that there's two sides to that coin though. You know, we don't wanna be hurting our bodies at the same time either by overdoing it just because. So to avoid being wasteful, one thing we can just do is just serve ourselves a little bit less to start and we can always add more. So with my own children, I am very careful with my dialogue when it comes to eating, you know, especially with my daughter, you know, I, I'm very, very careful with that. And I always am very clear on, we eat until you're not hungry anymore, you know? And when she says, mommy, I don't want any more. I say, are you full? You know, have you had enough to eat? And she'll say, yes. I can sometimes see that my daughter feels bad if she still has some food left on her plate or maybe worried I might, you know, be upset if she's not finishing her food. And even if she has half a plate of food left, I don't make a big deal about it. I just ask her like, you've had enough to eat, are you full? And if she says yes, then I say, that's fine. I said, I'm not going to force you to force your body to eat more than what you actually feel you need right now. So I'll just wrap it up and she can have it the next day. She can have it later if she gets hungry again. It's really not that big of a deal, but I'm really trying to instill in the kids that it's important to listen to your own body. And this is really something that I wish I would have known sooner myself. All right, so the next underrated tip I really wish I knew is that there are a billion different ways to lose weight. You know, you've seen all the marketing yourself, different fad diets that are always popping up, different doctors popping up, claiming that this is the one and only way and that everybody should be eating this way. It's exhausting. It is so exhausting and it's borderline comical as human beings that we've just simply forgotten how to eat. I use the word comical very lightly because it's actually not funny because so many of us struggle with it. But when we stop and we think, you know, such a basic necessity as eating, it has just become such a confusing topic within our society. But here's the part I really wish I would have known all these years is that despite all these different methods and techniques of eating, the only thing that truly matters is being in a calorie deficit when it comes to weight loss. So for me, now that I understand that, it doesn't matter if you're eating the healthiest diet in the world, you still have to be in a calorie deficit 
if you are trying to achieve weight loss. So now that I know that, you know, now I focus on eating for health. And for me, eating an oil-free, whole food, plant-based diet that is low in fats, that is what I think and believe is the healthiest diet for me. So I'm going to start there. That is where my home is in terms of feeling comfortable and the best version of myself. So from there, the next step is to simply figure out how you're going to create a calorie deficit within the lifestyle that you've chosen to follow. I don't care what diet or what lifestyle you're following as far as trying to get weight off. However it's been designed, I can assure you that they built in some way to be in a calorie deficit. And an oil-free whole food plant-based diet is no exception. Now I know we've heard a lot of different things, you know, you can eat as much as you want, you know, as long as it's low fat, oil-free, just eat in abundance and We've heard so many different things and guess what that might be true for some people maybe that did genuinely work for some people but what about the rest of us that that's not working for because i can tell you something i love health i love natural health to be more specific and i've been following a plant-based diet basically my whole life and still struggled with weight so there has to be more to that than just eating as much as we want and the same thing working for every single one of us because i'm someone who has struggled with weight loss i know the ins and outs of those struggles you know i'm not someone who just got pregnant and gained 70 pounds and then i lost the pregnancy weight and now i'm claiming to you know know everything about weight loss i have struggled so i know that you know there's emotional eating there's stress eating there's binge eating there's boredom eating there's so many other things so when you hear something like you can eat as much as you want that can be really really dangerous territory for people who have truly struggled to get the weight off even if you were snacking on fruit all day in between your meals or eating potatoes all day in between your meals when you get hungry, you could end up putting yourself in a calorie surplus by doing that. That's just plain and simple. So while you're technically eating healthy and there's nothing wrong with what you're eating, if weight loss is your goal, you have to be mindful of being in a calorie deficit. You just simply can't eat more than what your body burns. So for me to get in a calorie deficit following a whole food plant-based diet, I had to cut back on my overt fats. I also had to cut back on the breads and pastas that I was eating. These things were the very reason that were stalling my weight, even though in my innocent mind, I'm thinking, well, I'm eating healthy, so I'm just waiting for the weight loss to happen at this point. You know, I didn't realize that I really still had to be mindful of just even putting myself even slightly over my caloric needs, because then in that case, maybe you're not gonna gain, but you're just gonna stay at the same level. So you actually have to create some type of calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. So that's how I figured it out for myself. Again, this is just my own personal experience that I'm speaking on. Maybe it will be something different for you and that's okay because we're all different and we all have different needs and stuff. So don't worry about that part, but always just keep in mind that no matter how healthy you're eating, even in a whole food plant-based diet, you still have to try to figure out how to put yourself in a calorie deficit if weight loss is your goal. Okay, so the next underrated weight loss tip that I wish I could have told my previous self is to stop expecting instant gratification. And this is actually a conversation I've had recently with my mother. You know, I'm telling her that I'm like, with age, I feel like I'm getting a lot better with that, just kind of in general in all areas of my life. But more specifically, when it comes to weight loss, oh, in my younger years, I was very much like, you know, I ate good for three days, I should be at my goal weight, you know, that type of thinking. When I want something, I want it now. Oh, I was just so, so, so bad for that. And I'm really, really happy to say that I'm really just starting to appreciate the journey a lot more than what I ever used to. There is something special about the journey. There is something special about watching yourself, you know, be disciplined, watching yourself, you know, make better decisions for yourself because you're trying to create a better version of yourself. There's a lot of amazing feelings that come along with that. So I feel like we're you know, always just trying to jump past the journey part. We're trying to just get to the other side as fast as we can, but there's a lot of beauty in the actual journey itself. Instead, I'm really learning to get comfortable with those small wins and really celebrate the life out of them. If you haven't seen this video, I share a pretty vulnerable weight loss story in that one. Um, a lot of you really seem to enjoy that. And so if you haven't seen it, you can check it out, but it's exactly with what I'm talking about. You know, celebrating those non-skill victories, they can feel really, really good. So don't forget to do that. And the other thing about celebrating those small wins 
along the way is that it actually just keeps you motivated to keep going. So stop expecting instant gratification like I did my whole life and just understand that things take time and that's okay. Don't give up after only three days like I used to. Just keep on going. And that actually leads me into my next and my last underrated weight loss tip I want to share. Along with being in a calorie deficit, this is probably the second most important ingredient to successful weight loss, and that is to be consistent. Health and weight loss is always going to be about that everyday grind and just doing better than you did the day before. It's always going to be about consistency. Weight loss is nothing more than building blocks. You know, it's not something that happens overnight. It's what we do every single day that ends up resulting in something big. No matter where you are on your weight loss journey, there is always going to be room for improvement. And let me say this, all of these quick fixes and these magic pill weight loss gimmicks feed directly into our need for instant gratification. And these marketing companies know it and they play on that. So don't let them fool you. Consistency is really the only key to achieve successful weight loss. All right, everyone. So those are my favorite underrated weight loss tips that I was really excited to share. Um, this was a video that was pretty new near and dear to my heart because as I was kind of sitting there thinking about all of these things, I was feeling frustrated. I was getting upset. I'm thinking, man, like I just wish I would have known these things before. I would have saved myself a lot of grief and frustration that I've experienced all these years. Weight loss can be really complicated when you don't know what you're doing, but the moment you kind of figure things out and start connecting the dots, you realize that maybe they were just overcomplicating it all along. And when I say they, I mean all of these weight loss gurus, all of these books, all of these doctors, you know, I almost feel like it's made to be purposely confusing for us just to keep us in this state of confusion. But as soon as you kind of get out of that, you realize, hmm, it doesn't really have to be all that complicated. So I hope that some of these tips have inspired you. I hope I've clarified a few things. If you are on a weight loss journey and perhaps struggling a bit, leave it in the comments below. If you have also struggled with some of the things that I've talked about today, I'd be very curious to see if a lot of us have been in that same boat. And of course, if you're new to my channel and you love health and weight loss content following a whole food plant-based diet, then be sure to stick around my channel. I have tons of other videos that I'm confident you will find helpful, as well as don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to check out that awesome book sale, 65% off. Link is in the description box below. See you guys in the next one.